Hey, what's going on, everybody? IO Studios here for another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a liquid simulation. So, uh, let's get started. First, I have to simulate, add a particle emitter, also add a sphere, set the radius to 12. Now, let's grab this emitter and let's scale it up slightly. So, let's bring it up, go to uh, emitter size, set it to 200 and 200. Drag the sphere under the emitter, uh, go back to the emitter, change the particle, show objects, and let's add the birth rate, let's set the birth rate to 100 for now. We may need to bring it up, but we'll set it to 100 for now. And now it is doing that. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a meta ball up here, and drag the emitter and stuff under there, Oop, drag it under there. Now I've got this like big goop mass kind of uh, coming out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to first bring up the amount of frames. Let's bring this up to 240 and just double click on this arrow. There we go. And now it should look kind of like a, just like a blob of goo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head up here to simulate particles, gravity. Now the goop uh, is more like more like liquid already, but we're not done yet. Don't worry. So uh, you can't leave yet. <laughs> uh, first, what we're gonna do is we are going to add a new. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make some fairly realistic water now. So go to color, uh, set the brightness to 90%. Oh, I mean, sorry. Go to uh, transparency, enable it. Set it to brightness 90%. Refraction preset, set it to, uh, where are we at? Water. Water. And then we're also going to head to Reflectance, add Beckman additive. <clears throat> turn up the roughness a bit. You can set that to like 5, 6, we'll set it to, uh, I will set it to 8. Uh, reflection strength, and you want it not as reflective, but you want to have a bit of reflection. So there we go. Let me turn down that. Now we can apply that to our, uh, which I guess it's our sphere that needs to be applied to. No, no, we're going to apply it to the meta ball. There we go. And you can see here now this flows, and we'll try to render it. And uh, it's, it's, it's okay. Looks a bit too much like glass, so we're going to turn down that reflectance a bit more. Even We're going to turn it down to like 6%. Transpecular strength down, bump strength, turn it down a bit more. Transparency, and we're going to try to render again. That looks a bit more like water, I guess, but um, we're going to have to add some good lighting. So head up here and go to Physical Sky. Now, Physical Sky makes everything look better. And there we go. That's okay. We're going to make the color white, just so that it's more of a white color. Now, for uh, colliders. Because I know now we made the water. Now we're just gonna make a we're gonna make colliders for it. Also, we'll do some more render settings. But uh, what you're gonna want to do for colliders uh, is you're gonna want to head up for visible collide or invisible colliders. Uh, just head up here to simulate particles uh, deflector. Bring that up there. Bring up the size to about 500 by 500. That might not even be enough. We'll see. And then you can just rotate this. Let's see here. And now, as you can see, when we simulate, it will bounce the water off there. Now, the water is really bouncy. You can tweak that in the settings. Also, we're having some problems here. As you can see, uh, this is kind of choppy. So, for, to fix that, go to the meta ball and set the hull value down to uh, 20%. I think 20% should be good. Yeah, yeah, twenty percent should be fine for water. And subdivisions, you can set that to twenty. Oh, actually, so turn turn up the whole value. Sorry, set the subdivisions to twenty and the render subdivision to twenty. And we're still gonna have to turn down the whole value. Rip. <laughs> so turn down the whole value. There we go. Now, <clears throat> like a blob, kinda. If we turn up the whole value. I mean, yeah, we can turn it up a bit more and. 
Um, now, if you want to add a bit more spice to this, you can turn up the gravity. So head to the gravity, acceleration, set it to 500, because why not? And also the gravity is because right now it's like we're in zero G, right? And we want the... So if you want just more realism, I guess you can just really tweak the settings, the speed, and, you know, tweak the speed more, bring up the speed more, and bring up the gravity, it will be more of a, uh, it'll look more like water. So, oh, now, now we have to turn on gravity too much. Oh, why did we turn it up to 7,000? 750, I mean. There we go. Now you can see it's um, a bit more like water. You can even turn it up to a thousand five hundred because why not? And this may be too much. Let's see here. And then you can just I know it's bouncing too much, but you know, once again, you tweak that in the metaball or you tweak that in the emitter. So yeah, uh, that's that. If you want more particles, turn up that. And just turn up that more. And also, one last thing, actually, I'm going to show you guys. Some render settings. So head up here to your render settings. Set the width 1920 by 1080 for 1080p. If you want 4K, I believe it's 3240 by... Or I mean, 3840 by um, 2820. But I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I think that's for 4K. But let's see here. Effect, ambient occlusion... I don't know if you guys can actually see this window, so uh, so I'm being more narrative. So turn on ambient occlusion, <laughs> uh, effect, uh, turn on global illumination, make sure you have your, in the output section, make sure you have your width set to 1920 and your height set to 1080, and there we go. Now we will just do one render, so oh. <laughs> we'll just kind of let the water bounce a bit. We'll do one quick render, now this may take a while. Uh, yeah, this will probably take a while, but uh, I'm not going to render, I'm not going to show you guys, so you just render it yourselves, it'll look great, and uh, yeah, you may need to tweak this texture, or you can make your own water texture, that's totally up to you, uh, but yeah, I'd like to thank you, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and um, yeah, thank you everyone for subscribing, um, if you guys could subscribe as well, that'd be great, and uh, yeah, drop a like, and I'll see you all later, bye!